So, new week, new topic. This week we're gonna dig into public key cryptography in the form of signatures. So, you know what signatures are. I mean, you've used signatures before. Signatures are usually what you put under an official document to prove that it was you who agreed to this document. So, electronic signatures, digital signatures are quite similar. You have an electronic document and you want to prove that this document is actually originating from you. So, everybody who has your public key can verify that you signed this document. Document can be an email, for example. Um, but here I already introduced a, a new term, the public key. And by the name public key, you probably have guessed that there's also something like a private key. So with public key signature systems, you always have two keys that belong together. A private key that only you know. The private key you can't give to anybody else. You have to lock it away safely. And a public key. And the public key is meant for the public. So you can wear it around your neck or give it to absolutely everybody who wishes to have it. So the public key is public information. The private key can never be made public. And why is that? Well, on a high level, digital signature systems work like this. You have two functions. You have a sign function that uses the private key to sign a message and outputs a signature. So you always use the private key to sign something. And then the signature is sent together with the message to the receiver. And this receiver, if he has your public key, can then use a verify function with your public key, the signature and the message and check if the signature is valid. And if the signature is valid, you can be absolutely sure that the message was actually signed by you. So, in order to perform digital signatures, we need three algorithms. We need a key generation algorithm that outputs a private and a public key. These are usually called the key pair, a private key that belongs to a public key. And a sign function that signs a message given the private key and outputs a signature and a verify function that takes a, your public key, a signature and a message and checks if the signature is actually valid for this specific message. So this week we're gonna learn about yet another form of elliptic curves, so-called Edwards curves. Um, but first I'm gonna go over the classic elliptic curve signing algorithm ECDSA. Then we're going to learn about Edwards curves and see how we can use Edwards curve to Edwards curves to construct the signature algorithms based on Edwards curves. And then we're going to look at the signature system ED25519, which maybe by the name you already figured, has something to do with curve 25519.